Now, let's head to one polling place and see how the turnout's been so far. Let's check in with Tony Atkins. He's live at Center Street Library. And, Tony, what's it look like, looking like where you are? Well, Charles, it's been a pretty slow day here at the library. As of right now, 61 people have come out to vote here at this location. People, though, across town had a lot to say about why each election matters. Well, lettuce, tomato, sour cream. Music, food, and community resources outside the polling place. Jimmy got the post set up near 27th and Center, hoping to get voters out of their homes on this gloomy election day. It'll be a change for us. After 40 years of voting, you can imagine what election day means for Michelle Duggar and Henrietta Jefferson. I voted ever since I was 18. I'm 66 now. Michelle and other voters we talked to say taxes, community welfare, and safety are all top of mind. It's very important. I mean, it's a lot of going on in the city of Milwaukee that needs to be corrected. We all have a right to get up and be heard and voice our opinion. If you don't like something, get up and make a difference, make a change. The city of Milwaukee Election Commission says it sent out 35,000 absentee ballots and about 28,000 of them came back. It's expecting a 25 to 30 percent voter turnout. West in the city of Brookfield, voters will also choose a new mayor. Officials there expecting a 30 to 40 percent turnout. Put somebody in office that's really going to stand for us. That's right. Back at 27th and Center, Jared English says when it comes to getting more people to the polls, it's a two-way street. What would you say to voters who aren't engaging in this process? I would like to, to always put it back on uh, the politicians. Folks often say, well, the community is not engaged, the community is um, not doing what it quote unquote needs to do. The truth of the matter is people aren't engaged because people aren't engaging them. And so when we have politicians who don't listen, people who don't show up, people who drive around the community instead of through it and talking to people, that's when you get people disengaged. And back out here live, you have a little less than three hours to vote. Polls across the across the state close at 8 p.m. And soon we'll have a slew of new elected officials, including a new Milwaukee mayor for the first time in nearly 20 years. Charles. All right, Tony, thanks. And just to put some more clarity around that 62 percent of absentee ballots already counted here, it's about 28,000 absentee ballots so far in the city. They can only start counting those this morning. And that's more than what we saw in the primary. Steve, back to you. Charles, thank you.